Good morning everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life and showing you work-life balance as a CRNA. So I'm going to be filming basically my whole day starting in the morning. So far this morning I have done some stretching and foam rolling. I did not go to the gym this morning. I usually love to work out in the morning but I'm really sore because yesterday we went to a water park that had a bunch of inflatables on a lake and we're climbing all over them so I'm really sore today. So I decided my body needs some stretching and some foam rolling. Then I packed our lunches for the day. B actually has lunch at school, but I packed John and I's lunches. We always pack our lunches at least probably 99% of the time because it's just more convenient when you're on your break and you only have a little bit of time. You can just eat your food and also you always know you'll like what you're getting. And then I drank some water because I love to get a big glass of water in in the morning before I go to work. Sometimes I don't have a lot of time to drink water at work and it helps you stay hydrated. Water's just good for you. So that's why I throw that in there. I also walked Beamer because we always have our morning walks together. B and John are still sleeping because it's only 6.45. And now I'm gonna change and head into work and see what I'm doing for the day. I'm walking to work and it's really bright, but I was gonna tell you that today I'm working to seven to five because I didn't mention that earlier. So not too bad, only 10 hours. Today I am doing surgery service. So I'm getting my room ready and we're doing a bowel resection as our first case for diverticulitis, a flare up. So basically somebody had diverticulitis, one of the diverticuli caused a bowel perf. So we're doing a bowel resection, hopefully help them out, possible colostomy, which is usually the case when you're doing a bowel resection. I don't know what else will be in here for the day yet. Surgery service can cover a lot of different things and a lot of different surgeons. So it's usually a great room to be in with a lot of variety. I got my medications here for my first case draw those up, have the airway stuff ready, and then just wait for the patient to come down from the ICU. I am on my lunch break. I actually just ate my lunch. I had a veggie burger and some corn and beans and then a side of fruit, which I packed this morning, but I'm freezing in there. So I decided to come sit outside because it's 93 out and it feels so good right now. In summer, I feel like I always spend part of my lunch break sitting outside. I'm just gonna sit out here, catch up on my messages and like social media and stuff, and then head back in when it's time for my lunch to be over because I will be doing a lap coli as my next case. I feel like I do those all the time. I'm always telling you guys about it, but it's a pretty common case we do. And then I don't know what I'll be doing after that, so I'll have to wait and see. I'm in the supply room getting ready to get my stuff for my last case of the day and I'm doing a port placement. It is another general surgery case. It's a pretty short case. We do them a lot as max, which is not general anesthesia. It's moderate anesthesia care where we use propofol and they're still breathing on their own without an invasive airway in. So after that, I'll be getting off and I think I'll be getting off early because it is only 1.30 right now and the schedule is looking pretty light for a Friday. I need to knock on wood right now. Anyways, because it could always get crazy, but I think I'll be getting off right after this, so that is good. Walking home, obviously, and I was just sitting here thinking, I only did three cases today. I was supposed to work a 10 hour shift, and I got off in eight hours, and I feel like it was the easiest day ever. And earlier I said this video was gonna be about work-life balance, but it could not have been more true, because I didn't even realize how balanced my day was gonna be. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because some days we do have really busy days, but some days we have really chill days like today. I've been waiting for this all day. I made this beautiful banana bread last night and I didn't bring the slice to work because I wanted to save it for my snack when I got home. Mm. It was definitely worth the wait. If you're wondering what's going on behind me, I'm about to blow your mind really fast with a product recommendation. Now you guys know I don't like recommend products that I don't use. I rarely actually recommend products. And this video is not sponsored by the product maker, but I actually got this as a gift from them and all they asked was that I review it with my honest opinion. So I am about to do so. Also, let me not play you. I'm definitely gonna eat more of that banana bread after I'm done cleaning. So this is a Taneco wet dry mop. It mops and vacuums the floor at the same time and then it sucks all the water up so the floor is left pretty dry. So we've been using it for about a week and it is incredible. It is so time saving. Clean water goes in here, dirty water goes in here. You just empty it when you're done. It is cordless, it has a little charging station and it is self-cleaning as well when it goes onto the charging station. Has a few buttons, very easy to use. I wanted to show you this because I'm about to vacuum mop our floors right now. They are in dire need of some cleaning after the past few days of in and out My brother and his girlfriend were here too. So I'm gonna show you the water after I'm done. This thing saves me so much time.
All right, I just finished vacuuming. Last thing about the vacuum, I wanted to show you how good it did because I just vacuumed my entire downstairs in less than 10 minutes. And look at that water. It is so gross. And we're not even gross or dirty people. We vacuum and like spot clean a lot during the week, but this is just the buildup of dirt from one week of walking through the house. Insane. John's here with me now because we have some very exciting news to announce to you guys. We got a date. We officially got an adoption date for baby B and it is not very far away at all. We are super excited. Can we say the date? No, not uh, yet. Yeah. You'll know the date, like the day it happens or right after it's official. We will share it with you guys, but we can't actually share the date or place or anything like that, obviously, until it's over. When you messaged me, uh, I was sitting there and my bookkeeper was coming back in and I was a little teary-eyed. <laughs> and he was like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, nothing. It's just something in the in the air. In the air. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely excited. We've been waiting a very long time for this. So uh, definitely excited. Almost two years and it's finally going to be official. We can't wait. We feel like we've already been her parents since... The day that we got her anyway but legally we're not and that has caused some limitations so we're very excited for everything to be official when we pick her up from daycare today i want to tell her but she's <laughs> like she's like a date of what i know so i'm just telling her surprise because at least she gets excited about that people are like does she understand adoption and i don't think she totally understands it but we do read a ton of adoption books she has a lot of adoption books we talk about it openly and we try to expose her to the idea as much as we can because we don't want it to come as a shock to her one day that she's adopted um i don't think there's any perfect way to handle adoption but we're trying to handle it the best way we know how we'll do a whole video on this yeah. i think i get a lot of questions on yeah, like okay. adoption and how you should adopt and fostering and all that yeah. and i think after almost two years you know we're not professionals but i think <laughs> we know a lot more than we did when we first started and we can help a lot of people who ever want to go on this journey i think that's a great idea so it's definitely worth it and super rewarding and I highly recommend it for anybody thinking about doing it. I'll just say that in, this, in case this is the only video they watch. Yeah, we'll make another one. And also, I know a lot of people say that she's so lucky to have us. That's like the common comment theme we get on these kinds of videos. But truly, we're the lucky ones. So we are so lucky that she's in our lives and so thankful and happy. And uh, without her, like, every oh, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Everything just wouldn't be as fun and full of love, I feel like. Even yeah. though we love each other, but she's just so much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, I cannot wait. So I'm going to be a wreck. I know, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm, it's all, I'm already upset, getting upset. So I'm going to be a wreck in the uh, the courtroom. So I'm not looking forward to that part, <laughs> but I am looking forward to just being over with, done, get her passport, yeah. and uh, travel and show her the world. I'm excited. I am an emotional person too, but I have like delayed emotions. I, I don't know why, but if something happens, I don't really have an, a big emotional reaction until later. So tonight I'll probably be crying. We'll sit down and I'll be like, we have an adoption date, but John has immediate reactions. So I guess we level each other out. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that's the news. Yeah, that's the news. And um, we're going to go pick her up from school here in a little while and show you some B playing vlog tonight. B loves the gym. So it is gym time for daddy. We went to the grocery store and now we're hanging out playing. Good morning. It is the next day now, so this is actually a little over a day in life. But last night we had dinner. We actually had breakfast for dinner after the gym, which was really nice. And then we just kind of hung out inside because it was 103 degrees outside when we drove home from the gym. So it was really hot and humid. Not really nice weather to be outside unless you're in the water. So we just hung out um, when I laid down with B last night. I actually fell asleep with her because she was having a really hard time falling asleep for like an hour and then I woke back up and came down and me and John hung out and we went to bed. It was just a really chill Friday. Today we have plans to go to the local pool, which is gonna be super fun. Bee loves to swim and it's only 7 a.m. right now. So we're just hanging out. Bee's brushing her teeth for like the eighth time this morning and we're watching Brave, which is a really cute movie. But when the pool opens around 11, we're gonna go there. So it's just gonna be a really nice Saturday. We might even go down to the river later so Beamer can swim, but we don't have any big plans and we don't have much work to do, so it'll be good. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and close out this vlog because I'm edit it for you guys so you can watch it tomorrow. And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate it very much, more than you know. You guys are awesome. 
If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I will be seeing you next week.